What's going on people? Did you miss me? You missed me. You totally missed me. I apologize about last week. I had me a cold and as you know, if you cannot smell, you cannot taste properly. And I am not going to jeopardize giving you guys a solid review because I just want to make a video. It's shenanigans and it's not even cheeky shenanigans and that's crap. So, I did a little bit of interaction, and I asked you guys what particular beer you'd want me to review out of the Berkeley Brewing Company, and the Farmhouse Ale has won. So guess what? We're checking out the Berkeley Brewing Company's Farmhouse Ale slash Saison today on the Stein. So we got the lovely Berkeley Beer Company's Farmhouse Ale here. Berkeley Beer Co. is located in Berkeley, Massachusetts, and they're a small three-barrel nano brewery. The beer itself pores are really, really nice golden orangey color. Um, at the thinner points of the stem, it looks more yellow where it's thicker. It's got more of that like amber orange color to it. Not a lot of head to it. Even on the pour, you saw there was some like kind of, you know, gloves as the air got in. I made, I just said gloves. This is cool, right? Yeah. Um, but that wasn't enough to really like rile up a head. It's a very calm, nice beer. There's a really nice thin lacing on the top of the beer right now. It's looking really pretty. It's just looking pretty. I'm going to make love to this beer. Oh, that's what's up. I'll tell you what. Post cold, that's the stank you want in your nostrils, man. You got some carameliness, some nice maltiness. There's these great citrus tones. Very, very fruity. It's awesome. There's a very tiny bit of hoppiness in there. The smells on this beer alone are outstanding. Oh, that is on the money. Taste of the beer. Phenoms, yo. The noms. I'm just, I'm just saying it. This particular beer evolves on your palate. It's awesome. That like apricot flavor turned into this like sweet, savory banana flavor. <clears throat> There's still really nice wheat tones in the beer. Um, it's very bready, very smooth in the mouth. Like the mouth feel isn't over carbonated it's just a really nice wash it really fills your mouth and your palate is really refreshed when drinking this beer um, tiny bit of hoppiness very very tiny um, if you're not really that sensitive to that bitterness of hops you're gonna have to really like search for it you know maybe maybe let the beer sit for a second before swallowing just to kind of really let it linger um, but overall the flavors of the beer are wonderful drinkability on the beer is exceptional <clears throat> it's Definitely a beer that is it's ho it's at home in the summer or it's at home in the spring, but you could drink it year round. It's light. The mouth feels like medium to light, and I think even saying medium is pushing it. I'm only saying medium because it really does fill your mouth because there's a lot of flavor going on. Carbonation is light to the point where you're not really getting burpy. You're not getting a lot of fizziness in the mouth. The smell, the taste, all of it, the experience of the beer is very very nice. Some general information on this particular beer. It's a farmhouse ale slash Saison. Saison sounds so much cool than farmhouse ale, but farmhouse ale sounds American. Yeah, America. It's 5% alcohol by volume. You could serve this in kind of any glass you want. If you wanted to put it in an imperial pint glass, you would do okay because the, the smells and the aromas of the beer is so strong that it would actually withstand that open mouth. Um, but I, I'd recommend a tulip to trap in as much of it as you can because it's really, really an excellent group of aromas and flavors. <clears throat> On the IBU scale, it's not bitter at all. Four. Four. I don't know. I don't even, not even four I think is a little high, but depends. Depends on your palate. SRM scale, she's really light. Uh, I'd, I'd rate it a five, mostly because the haziness, but as far as like actual lightness goes, it's like a four. It's really, really light. Um, you can get this beer in a 22 ounce bottle, and it's a rotating schedule, and in fact, the beer itself is not even on their website, so I don't know when the beer itself is actually available, but I got it now, which is early spring, literally bought it two days ago, so I'm gonna assume it's available now. So that's going to wrap it up for the Berkeley Brewing Company's Farmhouse Ale. And uh, I'm going to have to say, coming off that cold when I wasn't able to smell anything or review a beer was pretty sad. But this beer was the best beer to come out. So thank you for everybody who voted on choosing this particular beer because it's a great choice. Go out and get yourself some before its rotating cycle vanishes.
I drop some links in the description below. Check me out on Facebook and on Twitter. Like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what beers you'd like to see me check out or what brewing companies you think I should check out. And until next time, be safe, drink responsibly, and cheers.